We want to take a closer look now at the impact of these auto tariffs and what they will have on the industry. We are joined by Sean Leon Lee. He's actually a professor of economics and policy at Cornell University and a co-director of the Cornell Institute for China Economic Research. Welcome to the broadcast. Thanks for having me. So as you just heard earlier in our report, and I'm sure you've already seen and read about the U.S. Trade Commission wrapping up that meeting with small business owners, it got a lot of pushback, a lot of criticism from the auto execs or reps from other countries about concern about how these tariffs will raise costs, stifle innovation, and dampen their plans for expansion and hiring. So the obvious question is, what is the president's point? The point, you know, the stated rationale is, is trade deficit, right? Because automobile sector is a very large sector. And if you look at the vehicles sold in the United States, half of them are imported from other countries. So by raising tariff and potentially reduce imports, therefore we can reduce deficit. That's, I guess, the stated logic. But whether that's true or not, it's, you know, that's the, uh, the, the, the focus of the debate. Labor unions are a little more supportive, but they're, they too are concerned that any rash action could cause unforeseen consequences like mass layoffs. Would these tariffs balance it out? Would it be worth it, or is it too soon to say? I think it's too soon to say, but I think you can make predictions. We know if, you, if we take the myopic view that other countries won't take countermeasures, then you might think, well, the uh, the auto uh, the we, United States might reduce import and the automakers in the United States could sell more cars. Therefore, the auto uh, auto workers sorry would benefit. But if the other countries take countermeasures, we could be in a trade war. And we, it's very safe to predict that U.S. consumers U.S. consumers will suffer most likely to suffer in the form of high prices in dealers, and it could even hurt uh, U.S. auto workers if we, we can't export as much as we, we did before, and if the pro profit comes down and automakers have to lay off for, uh, workers. Okay. So we're saying that the typical new car could cost about $4,000 more if these tariffs are enacted. I have a couple of questions. How quickly would consumers see these prices go up? And also, through these tariffs, would we open up negotiations with Mexico, Canada, and the European Union and possibly add more jobs? Right. Uh, in terms of the price increase, uh, if the tariff, uh, you know, goes, to, uh, goes into effect tomorrow, we can see, you know, price increase in dealers maybe in a couple of days to, you know, a couple of weeks. Uh, but we will for sure see larger prices in, you know, a few weeks, in a couple of months, when the inventory in dealers is exhausted. Uh, in terms... Uh, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. So continue the second on. question was? Yes, continue on. Yeah. What was the second question? Sorry. Oh, uh, the second question is, would, would, by, would we be uh, adding more American jobs by opening up negotiations with Mexico, Canada, and the EU? It's really not clear. This is really a complicated exercise, uh, if, possible at, if possible at all, to predict what would happen to, to the employment. Because as I mentioned earlier, if other countries take countermeasures, and we might actually sell less cars and auto parts in other countries, and as a result, actually U.S. workforce uh, in the automobile sector could even contract. Um, is there an industry, in your estimation, that is more global than autos? The automobile sector is probably as global as you can get, right? Thinking about the U.S., we import cars and auto parts from other parts of the world, but we also sell cars and auto parts uh, to, to other countries. This is true for other major automobile producers, such as Germany, Japan, South Korea. So this is really global global industry. Um, and for this exact reason, U.S. Co uh, consumers actually benefit in the forms of better variety, lower prices, higher quality, as we heard over and over again. This is really the benefit uh, from the international trade. So I think it will be very unfortunate if uh, tariffs are raised in the name of uh, American national security, because it could achieve, uh, very well achieve, uh, could achieve the, uh, the opposite. Professor Sean Jianli, thank you for your time joining us from New York.